Hello everyone, this is Tracy. I'm the commander from uh, OneBlock and uh, after it's been two weeks after our uh, photo hacks on Bangkok station, uh, we would like to uh, warmly welcome the team that Interfinals to uh, give a brief introduction of their projects and today uh, we have Mario from uh, Soft Law. Uh, hello Mario, could you be able to introduce yourself and your project? Yes, hello Tracy. Good to see you after two weeks. Uh, Yes, well, my name is Mario. I'm the founder of Softlo. Uh, we compete for the Bangkok Hackathon. So we we are a team that we were working before together. So we just uh, pivot the idea and build this new product. Then uh, which track did you pick for the Hackathon, like category? We have four. We have the infra. We have the the app. We have open topic and the the chain. Yeah. Yes, we we choose Polka or SDK because well, it's I think it's the that track and the cross chain track mm. are the most for Polka focus. Uh, yeah, I think they are the most interesting tracks. Then uh, did you make any like progress? Even it's just we just finished the hackathon. Like, did you make any progress for the project? Yes, it was. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't wanna lie, to you Tracy. Uh, we built everything from the ground, so it was kind of exhausting uh, because well, we were yeah, like starting after the Singapore hackathon, so we just had like three, four weeks, so it was like kind of a hurry and kind of fast. So after hackathon, we chill a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's what we do. Uh, and now we are starting to work again. I think uh, the f well, we're working in all the areas, but the most important thing to do is the front end at the moment because well for the hackathon we were like just uh, building everything fast and just make it work it, it doesn't have like the best uh, ux ui experience uh, i don't know like take advantage of all the functionalities that we built for the runtime so we need to show that in the front end so yes i think we're going to start with polish the front end and then continue with the backend and everything. Okay, then uh, why do you choose Polkadot ecosystem? Why you choose Polkadot? Well, uh, uh, at the beginning was kind of like a destiny. Uh, just moving around between ecosystem. I started uh, with a little bit of Solidity, smart contracts, and all that EVM stuff, more in Polygon because it was cheaper. And then Moonbeam, and the last year, actually, in the One Block Hackathon, uh, I discovered Substrate. <laughs> uh, yes, because for that Hackathon, we, uh, we built smart contracts, but uh, when I was in the Hackathon, I was listening to the other pitch. And the other pitches were more like substrate focus and all the stuff, so it was like kind of interesting. So yeah, after that uh, we became substrate developers. Then uh, what's the key features of Soft Law that you can that you think can really attract users to use your product? Mm. The key features, well, I think um, the the most important key feature of Solo is like the legal protection that provides to the intellectual property owners. So yes, there are many businesses that you can build around intellectual property. I don't know, maybe music rights, uh, design rights, NFT marketplace, everything. There are many business around it, but if you don't have like this legal protection, it's like uh, going to make business without a gun. So yeah, going to work without a gun. So to make business, I think you have, your gun is also like uh, be uh, legally protect. Then uh, like what inspired you? Like 
where is your idea comes from? Where is my idea come from? Well, I have been an entrepreneur for a lot of time. Uh, I have built many products. Uh, most of them failed, but uh, something important for me is intellectual property because I have made I have built products with intellectual property well protected and the, product, the business went well. And also I, went, I have built products without the protection and always the uh, problems arise. So yeah, I think uh, that was one of my inspiration, mm. uh, like my previous experience. Okay. And also, like, uh, well, uh, I am a lawyer by career, you know, so uh, I was a lawyer practitioner for almost, I don't know, uh, uh, 10 years. I, I, wa I was practicing very early. Uh, I just had the opportunity to work very, very early. And one of the fields that I used to work was intellectual property. So it, I was kind of related. Hmm. Then, uh, do you have any plans for soft law, like marketing plans or any like technical plans in the future? Uh, yes. At the moment, it's just like finish the, the product and all that stuff. Uh, like, well, finish the product is like a very ambiguous uh, sentence, no? Because the product is never finished, no? You always like update and update and stuff very soon. But I mean, like the first MVP, like a complete MVP, functional, uh, ready to production. And well, we are going to launch a campaign with Unique Network by January, I guess. Is similar on one of the tools that we are implementing. So yes, it's like start testing, improving, and after that, well, the idea I wanna I wanna launch the, this uh, parachain. Hmm. Then, uh, did you attend any activities that we had during the hackathon? Workshops. The workshops were are important uh, there are always topics or something that you can learn from these workshops hmm. then uh at last like uh, do you have any suggestions to developers that uh, are going to join our next part of the hackathon or how do you feel about the hackathon in general well, uh, one block hackathon plus is very competitive. Uh, there are very good projects. There are very good hackers, and I think every edition is getting uh, harder to get into the finals and harder to get a prize because, well, uh, the community is growing. Uh, I think one block plus, also Polka Blockchain Academy, are making like a good job to train developers. So, well, all these developers after the training are starting to build products. So what will be my suggestion? <laughs> uh, educate yourself because it's harder. And I don't know, maybe join some workshops of one blog and try to subscribe to the Polka Blockchain Academy and uh, maybe try to join a team in the ecosystem. I mean, start working with the tools. I know that OneBlock has like many tracks. Mm, you also can uh, do smart coins and all that stuff. But I think the most interesting in Polkadot, like I said before, is Polkadot is game. Well, it's Polkadot Hackathon, no? So, yeah, start working with that. I think that will be my suggestion. Um, subscribe, uh, submit something. Yeah, then uh, we're uh, looking forward to see your seeing your progress, like and more collaborations. As you mentioned, then you eventually uh, SoftLaw can become a parachain, whatnot. So, uh, and I hope I can probably see you like next year somewhere <laughs> for our next hackathon. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. No, thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, uh, Weblock is doing a great job. Uh, 
So, yeah, let's keep building. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. Bye. Bye.